of a strange thing to collect. I have about 200 fans. I have pedestal fans. This is a Holmes pedestal fan. And the reason I bought it, these blades, table fans. This is a Fanimation Urban Jet. It kind of looks like the fins from a 1950s Cadillac. Tower fans. Tower fans are slim, so they can fit in tight spaces, yet they move a lot of air. Box fans. This is a beautiful treasury, perfect example of a box fan treated well. It's got a very great sound. Listen to it on low. It's beautiful. It's like a bird humming. Hassock fans. A Hassock fan, at first you think, oh, that's just a footstool. Well, actually, as you can see when I lift it up, there's a fan, motor, and blade. Well, I always had a rule about not collecting ceiling fans. This is a 1980 Hunter original. This is a Hunter model 22450. This is a portable ceiling fan. Notice how it twists like that? My first thought was, when will it stop? My first memory with Reese with fans is probably 18 months to two. I'm somewhat obsessed with fans. It's the way the fans look, how nice they are. Yes, that is quite beautiful, isn't it? I started collecting fans when I was three, and I'm still collecting fans now that I'm 11. So I've been collecting for eight long years. The first fan I had, it was a Galaxy by Lasco box fan. I'm about a year too old. It was just a standard box fan, and he played with it all the time. It was in this kind of cabinet, and uh, it had a badge up here that said Galaxy by Lasco. Well, when he was around three, the motor just burned out. My dad threw it out because I didn't know anything about fans then. And who wants a box fan just sitting around the house that doesn't work, so I threw it out. Since then, I've been looking for this exact same fan. It would help fill a box fan-sized hole in my heart. He goes in the computer several hours a week looking for another Galaxy by Lasco. I've been looking for that Galaxy by Lasco forever. I just love that thing, but I can never find one. It's like as if it's trying to escape me. 